The old belly series put it in the belly of the fullback, kept it himself. Face mask violation there that was not called, but it didn't matter. Smith had the touchdown. Well, we've just seen enough of Keith Smith to know what a great talent he's going to be. Plummer only had to throw it eight times in the first half. He completed three, but what a beauty this one was. Right on the money, there's, there's Keith Poole wide open in the late hit in the end zone that cost him another 15 yards. That made it 21 to 7. Terry Battle added yet another touchdown from close in. Three touchdowns for him in the first half in a 28 to 7 ball game. What does Arizona need to do? Because uh, Plummer only had to throw the ball eight times. That means running game's working. Everything's yeah. clicking. Yeah, defensively, clearly, they've got to stop the ASU running game. As you said, Plummer only threw it eight times. Uh, uh, seven times for Keith Smith. I think Arizona's got to get the ball in the air and go back to working on the Arizona State cornerback. All right, let's get the fir word firsthand then as we go down to the field. Andre Aldridge with Arizona coach Dick Tomey. Andre? All right, thanks a lot, Barry. Coach, down by 21. What did you tell your guys at halftime? Well, we just need to. The story of the game is, is we're having trouble running the ball. They're, they're running all over us. And run offense, run defense. That's what wins. And protect the kicker. I mean, we got two kicks blocked. We got another turnover. That's the story. And uh, I just think we, we've got to come out and just try to get back in this thing little by little. We're not going to get 21 points on one play. But these guys were behind UCLA 28-7 and came back and won. So we just have to believe we can do it. And if we believe it enough, we can get it done. All right, Coach. Best of luck in the second half. Thanks. Barry, back upstairs to you. All right, thanks very much, Andre. It's interesting, I think, that he uh, pulls a page out of Bruce Snyder's book, that Snyder's team is behind 28-7 to against UCLA. And if his team can do it, so could Dick Tomey's team. They're going to get the ball first to start the second half. Take a look at the numbers in the first half. Big numbers are the rushing yards, 184 for ASU, 49 for Arizona. That's been the difference in this ballgame. Every quarterback likes to see those numbers, too. Oh, right? yes. Oh, yes. Makes the passing game much easier. Holmes and Northcutt will be the deep man for Arizona. McAllister has not been on the last two kick return teams. And Anderson kicks it away. High kick. Very good kick. And there'll be no return of this. Let's take a look at what Arizona did with the football in the first half. You can see the touchdown on its sixth possession. 70-yard drive, and that was the only drive. Look at the minuses on that board. Other than the 70-yard drive, 14 yards was the longest drive, and that speaks to the Arizona State defense. And the fumble and the blocked punt, two turnovers that uh, both proved very costly for the Arizona Wildcats. Well, as Dick Tomey said, there is no 21-point play in the playbook, so they got to get it back one at a time here. This time they slot the tight end Mike Lucky on first down. They go off the shotgun. Now we said Plummer only put it up eight times. Smith only put it up seven times in the first half. Screen this time for Taylor. 15, 20, 25, 30, and cracked as he crossed the 30 by Derek Smith. About a 13-yard gain of the first down. Very, very well executed screen pass to open the, open the half for Arizona. The screen pass is a beautiful thing when it's when it's executed properly. The linemen get out in front, get the ball to Gary Taylor with a couple of blockers in front of him. Very successful first play of the second half for Arizona. We kind of think Frank Middleton might have gotten away with a hold on Brent Bernstein on that play. Ball at the 34-yard line. They go out of the eye formation once again. Play fake. Smith will go up. Pump fake all day. Looking for McDaniel and overthrow. Daniel well covered that time by Marcus Sauer. Marcus Sauer playing at the cornerback now. Uh, may have been a change made at that position by Arizona State. But uh, Arizona coming back to work on the Arizona State corners like we thought they might do. And so far, the Arizona State corners have held their own. Sauer didn't bite on that pump. No, no, he, didn't, he didn't go for that at all. A little sideline and up. Two tight ends. Williams alone wide out. Eye formation with Callan the tailback. This is Callan on the right side. Tries to cut back and gets a yard. 35-yard line. It's going to be third down and nine. Bernstein with help from Sueda on the tackle for the Devils. Here's the numbers on Keith Smith. They bring McDaniel to the near side this time. McDaniel had 289 yards in one game against California in a losing effort. Best ever in the Pac-10 conference. Single setback. And Smith rolls to his left. 
now has to roll away from the pressure, and he has no place to go, and Tillman throws him down at the 27-yard line, and another possession of minus yards. And, and it's all a result of Pat Tillman staying at home. When, when Keith Smith broke back to his right, Pat Tillman was standing out there waiting for him. Rather than rushing the quarterback and taking himself out of the lane, he just stood backside and waited for Smith to come back to him. Pat Tillman is on the right side of your screen. There he is, right there, just, just waiting for Keith Smith to come back that way. Great discipline by Pat Tillman. Good coaching also. Good scouting. Hey, the punt. High twisting kick, and Redmond will let it go, and it hits the 41-yard line, and takes a Arizona bounce, and will finally fall dead at the 31. Take a look and see what Arizona State did in the first half. They got it going about midway through the first quarter. You can see first four possessions, punt, 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 punt. Next possession, touch, 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 touch. And that is interesting. They start with a slot left. With Poole in the slot, single setback back. And Plummer gives to battle, and battle tries the right side. It stopped at 33, but you got about three yards on that play, and there really wasn't anything there. Terry Battle for a guy who wasn't expected to start this season, and, and it, it's a classic example of what happens to a guy that just hangs in there and keeps working. You know, as, as a coach, you run into this disappointment all the time from players who don't get to start. Here you see three TDs today. The ASU record is five, held by a guy by the name of Wizard White. Yep, we remember him, don't we? Leon Berman, ben, Benny Malone, the guy that I played with. Joe Salave is the injured player. He's been banged up good portion of this year when he's healthy very very solid player out of Pango Pango dad's a math teacher in Pango Pango Sullivan may be playing his last game as a member of the Arizona Wildcats the guy that Dick told me singled out as one of the leaders on defense. Battle this time left side. Tries to step outside. The other thing that Terry Battle has done is he scored 18 touchdowns now on the season. Which for a guy who didn't start the season tell Rather remarkable. Sparky. He's one of my favorite mascots. because he doesn't try to shake hands with you. <laughs> Short drop this time. Plumber slant. Oh, what a catch! Oh, my! That was a big-time catch. Simple slant pattern by Keith Poole. One-handed, right-handed grab, and it just sticks. The three Wildcats hanging all over him. What a great, great play this is by Keith Poole. That this is guy's a unbelievable. Big time catch. Kelly Malvo defending on the play. First down at the 47 yard line. Straight back plumber again. Looking deep this time for Poole. Poole has to come back for it and can't get that. Poole is running a little fade. And Plummer, I think, would like to have that ball back. A little, just a little bit underthrown. Poole was outside. Kelly Malvo did a nice job playing the ball. And Poole did a nice job of turning into a defender on his play and going back and not letting Malvo get the ball. Malvo's looking back, got his eyes on the ball, and that's an interception if Poole doesn't come back and defend on it. Good play by both guys on that one. There you see Keith Poole closing in on Aaron Cox. And we're going to have to burn a time out here as Jake Plummer uh, saw something he didn't like or might have had too many bodies out there. He'll call a timeout early in the second half. His team leads it 28-7, and we'll be back. ASU fans, here's your chance to show your Sun Devil spirit with officially licensed Rose Bowl merchandise, the ASU Team Shop, in the south end zone of Sun Devil Stadium. Show your support as all proceeds will benefit the ASU Athletics Program. Now on sale are limited edition posters featuring Coach Bruce Snyder and scenes from the unforgettable.